Well, last year we got a chance to say hello to uh, Mo in his first season. And is anybody happy to see you again with 21 wins as soon as you come into the league? That's a pretty nice debut you it is. for I'm yourself. Just, I'm just glad they invited me back. I'm just happy to be back again. <laughs> You know, I was going to ask you, you had one of the best players, I think, that has been in the CAA in Charles Jenkins, a second-round draft pick in the NBA. With a lockout right now, what, what's Charles's status out there? Unfortunately, uh, you know, for Charles, he, he can't get paid right now. And, and there's a guy who really did everything the right way on and off the court, you know, not only as a basketball player but as a student athlete, representative of our university. Uh, so he's around. Uh, he actually was at practice yesterday watching. He got a workout in before we started practice. And uh, he's just been popping in and out. Obviously, he's very close to a lot of our guys and uh, we're hoping for the best. We're hoping the lockout ends and he can get to work and, uh, you know, if not, maybe head overseas soon. Well, you obviously lose a lot when you lose the CAA Player of the Year, but when you have another senior and Mike Moore, who really came on last year, had a terrific season, I think it was 23 out of the last 24 games in double figures, that gives you a great foundation for this year, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm really excited about Mike's progress. And Mike graduated, uh, so he's, he's taking graduate courses now. He's really focused on basketball. He's focused on getting himself better, and I think he's going to have a great, great year for us. Well, you've got some pretty good kids coming back. I know I liked Lester a couple of years ago. I think he's back off an injury, and you got another player back, too. So your new guys sound pretty good. Yeah, we do. Uh, we don't necessarily have uh, a, a lot of guys that have played a lot together, but Nat Lester is a fifth-year senior as well. We have uh, a transfer from Rhode Island, Stevie Mejia, who will play a lot for us this year. Uh, Dewan McMillan, another senior who got hurt last year and missed most of the season. And Dave Imes, another guy who's uh, a little bit older and started every game for us. So we do have some, some, some uh, older guys back, but not necessarily the guys that have played a lot together. Well, you're uh, in an interesting geographical position right there, sitting uh, you know, Long Island, but right there nudging up against Queens and all that great New York City basketball. How important is it for you to really get your roots in deep now that you're taking over that program in that very basketball-rich area? Yeah, it, it is. It's very important to us. It's very important to our program and our university. I mean, I think we really have to dig our heels into that New York metropolitan area. You know, and that can reach a little bit into Connecticut, into New Jersey. But you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna butter our bread in the New York City area, and we're gonna keep working on that. We've got a great, great staff who have all New York City roots, so we're working real hard at it. When you also talk about the experience that your team had last year, and uh, you were able to get to the college basketball invitational, how great is that for a coach? You come off a terrific season. You get to continue. Did that really help your team as well as you get springboarding for this year? Helped our team a lot. Helped our program, and I think it helped. It helped me and our staff. I think learning how to play in the postseason, uh, the ability to get there and understand what we have to do to try to get ourselves past that and onto the next level, I think was a great learning experience, not only for myself but our program. You know, something Charlie and I were just talking about before you came on, and we were curious about the impact that. The great run that VCU had to the final four, sure. three teams into the tournament. We were just talking about recruiting. Do you find you get a little buzz and a little spillover on what the conference accomplished? And you were certainly part of those accomplishments. You know, guys, I, I think the, the league now has national attention. You know, with, with you know Mason going to the final four, I guess, seven years ago, and, and certainly VCU's run last year and the success that Old Dominion and George Mason have had on a national level uh, really takes our league to a, to a whole nother level. I think it's got national recognition. It's got national name recognition. And, and I think now when we talk to recruits about the CAA, they're excited about it. Well, you know, it's interesting. When last year I said, what do you expect? You got 21 wins. <laughs> you got you got to follow that act now. But uh, that was a great year for you. You had 14-4 and four in the regular season, and that, that's enough to win the league usually. I think you ended up in second. But – I we know did. it was an exciting year for you. Yeah, it really was. It really was. And we're going to try to build on that uh, great, great learning experience. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is we were able to really win some tough games on the road. And I think that's going to be uh, something that I hope we can continue to build on. Well, Mo, we wish you continued great success. As we mentioned, a terrific start to your career at Hofstra with that 21-win season. 14 wins within the conference. Best of luck in this upcoming season. Guys, thanks. Good to be back. All right. Hofstra head coach Mo Cassera. Go to ESPN3 for the complete replay of the 2011 CAA Basketball Media Day Live.